Zweifelfrank entzündet. should be live now everyone should be able to hear us and see us uh, unmute yourselves say hi so chat can let us know hello 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 buddy hi chat all right yeah chat let us know if anybody freezes or mics fall out and we'll get it fixed right away other than that we should be good to go um got to make sure that we have all the right screens open it was showing facebook still there we go. There's our nice logo, which actually should be mm -hmm. changing soon. A little insider info. Um, mm -hmm. We had to either change uh, the name or the logo uh, before we launch our Kickstarter and some of our product lines um, to avoid some legal issues. So um, that should be happening very soon. But yeah, we're, uh, this is our monthly team, Veritas, running a Neo Media Corp. And before I get into a little a uh, little mini recap and we get into gameplay. Let's do like we always do. Let's go around the table and everybody introduce yourselves, uh, let people know where they can find you online, and then tell them uh, who your character is, what you'll be playing today. And also, uh, hey, what's up everybody in chat? Thanks for joining us nice and early. Thanks for sharing the link and helping our uh, stream grow. We really appreciate the help. And yeah, Jamie, uh, we've got a Kickstarter I'm starting up with some awesome products, so we'll be getting into that soon. But yeah, let's start it off. Uh, Simon. Hello, everyone. I'm Simon. He, him, uh, also known as Wandering DM. In this game, I play Ace, our lawman, who has a bit of a temper problem. <laughs> and I believe is now addicted to Smash as well. Yeah. <laughs> Cynthia. <laughs> or Naomi. My name's Naomi. I play Cynthia the exec. Uh, you can find me online. But for the most part, yeah, I play Cynthia. The exec who's kind of calculating and also a really good shot. Surprisingly good shot. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Val. Hey, I'm Big Val. I'll be playing Phoenix the Fixer. Um, she's, a, she's a southern girl, but when she does her synth coke, her regular voice comes out. Don't know why, but it does. <laughs> Nice, and you're rocking a Halloween overlay today, I see. What, Rob? I said you're, you're rocking a Halloween overlay, I see. Love it. I love I it. I did not hear that. Oop, are you muted again? Can you hear everybody? Oh, my headset's me thing was off again. I don't know why I keep doing that. I don't know why you keep doing it either. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I was saying, uh, yeah, and you've got your Halloween overlay today. That's awesome. Yay! Happy Halloween, everyone. Yay! Yay! Hey. Yeah. <laughs> the best time of the year. Will. Hi, my name's Will. Uh, you can uh, see him. You can find me on Twitter at Billy Huddles um, and on Discord uh, at Rook on the Cyberpunk Discord. Um, I, will, I play the media, Looper, who's a bit of a wild card going down uh, a little bit of a, uh, a road here with uh, now addicted to Synth Coke and Smash. And... Okay. Uh, it's going a little bit crazy trying to get these stories and trying to make sure his team is doing all right. <laughs> and Tracy. Um, hi, everybody. Uh, just actually a quick note. It looks like Will is uh, freezing a bit for me. Oh, he's back now. Yeah, I, I don't saw, know if you guys I, noticed that. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it froze it a little bit second, a yeah. yeah. Um, just luckily, FYI, uh, yeah, we can still hear the audio uh, just fine. Yep. So hopefully that'll be yep. okay. Yeah. Uh, but hi, everybody. I'm Tracy, uh, also known as Miss Matchtech on the internet. Um, I 
normally stream uh, more often than I have been lately. Um, I stream D and D uh, on the weekends on my channel, but uh, I've been on a, a bit of a, a personal break um, for for some things. Um, so I haven't been online as much as I normally am. But uh, yeah, you can you can find me on the internet as Miss Match Tech. Um, I am playing Ellie, our nomad, and uh, Ellie is. Uh, well, she's gotten herself into some deep trouble uh, with the things that have been going on with our group. Uh, she's kind of on the radar uh, the most. I, I would probably say the most out of the group, although a few of, of uh, the rest of our crew is also, you know, being followed. But more specifically, Ellie, uh, her car is being followed um, and she's, you know, she's in some some deep trouble. Uh, we'll, we'll see if I can get out of it. We'll see. No promises. Yeah. It is cyberpunk, yeah. so everyone's going to die. Mm -hmm. um, and, and yeah, I'm, I'm Rob Mulligan, the Game Master. Do, am I the only one that feels like when we go around the table and everyone's like, hey, I'm tr hi, I'm Tracy, or hey, everyone, I'm Rob Mulligan, that everyone should be like, hi, Rob. Like, we're at some meeting or something. <laughs> like, hi, Rob. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Rob. Yeah, Welcome I'm, to the meeting. <laughs> I'm, I'm the Game Master here. I'm also the founder of Cyberpunk Uncensored. Uh, check out all the gameplay, tutorials, just all the streams and videos we have going on. Multiple GMs, uh, gameplay all week. Uh, lots of new stuff coming up too. New Fallout streams, some new one-shots, some Dune hopefully in the near future. Still looking out for some players. Um, and yeah, just lots of cool stuff. I do want to give a shout out to the Patreon supporters um, and people that have opted in for that. I really appreciate everybody that, that supports me on Patreon. It really keeps the brand growing and going. You're the fuel on my fire. A couple of them right here, Will and Naomi, thanks so much. Uh, Leaded Coffee, uh, Michael Edmonds, a.k.a. Kira, Chris Anderson, Dolan Pondsmith, Steve Barr of Sirenscape. Sirenscape's also an official sponsor of Cyberpunk Uncensored, so shout out to Steve Barr. Matt James, who's also GM Reservoir Panda, has a bunch of gameplay streams with us. Uh, Revolver Gray, Samurai Mac, Jorge, Zach, whose capricious nature runs a weekly Nomad campaign every Saturday. Plus, he's coming out with uh, an ongoing Fallout 2D20 game uh, for our channel as well. So he's a, a GM on the brand. Uh, Rothen, who's also Renegade 420. Raven, Andy Stretton, Charles Fodel, Kevin Moreno, who is playing this weekend in a one-shot. Uh, so check that out uh, Saturday. And then Rufio, Rufio, Rayan, and Jamie Minch. Hopefully I got the names right. If I did fuck it up, just <laughs> let me know. I'll fix it by next stream. I'm horrible at that shit. But, uh, but yeah, check out everything that we have going on. Give me a subscribe, a follow on both Twitch and on YouTube, Cyberpunk Uncensored, anywhere you see social media. Um, that being said, uh, thanks again to chat everyone getting here nice and early and sharing the stream, helping our gameplay grow. Our recap here, I'm just going to do a mini recap. I encourage everybody to check out the VODs. They're all on the Cyberpunk Uncensored YouTube. You can see all the different sessions that the team has already been through, all the NPCs, twists and turns, uh, clues they've uncovered, and evidence they've been gathering because they are a media corp. They're in, they've started up a Neo Media Corp, and um, it's called Veritas, and they're basically trying to bring some truth to Night City, break some cases and such and some stories, and the first one that they're on is trying to expose Chief Reppin of the NCPD for using Vice to basically uh, do busts and then give like 90% of the shit that he gets to uh, some Russians. Um, like I said, lots of sessions, lots of things have happened, but in the last one, the team talked to Pickles, uh, kind of their hookup on the street, this drunk guy who um, basically confirmed some of the rumors to Looper and Phoenix and saying that, yeah, the Russians, uh, they're a new crime family, the Orlov family that has that eagle and sickle tattoo. He knew that. Uh, Mr. Orlov, I guess, runs an import-export business out of Night City. He didn't know where, just somewhere in Night City. Um, but rumors have it there's some evidence in his private system or in his office that uh, you know shows kind of shady business and things he's doing, I guess. Um, and then he said that some of the, uh, his boys and some of his, uh, members, I guess, of the family hang out at a, a local bar called the Chrome Catheter, um, which is over there in, uh, let me just make sure I get that right. Uh, over there in New Westbrook and Haywood, actually down the street from the Elysi Elysium bar where you guys know Vero, where all those brain dance mm -hmm. tanks are and stuff. Um, but yeah, when we left off, you were at the restaurant. Uh, Chief Reppin had a, a date night with his wife. Uh, there's still security there watching him. 
um, but it, it was a low security detail, so it was your chance to actually try to interrogate him or do something. And you guys did something. You, uh, Cynthia, uh, Ace uh, caused a distraction. Cynthia slipped him some laxatives while Ellie and Phoenix watched the guard outside. And Looper snuck in the bathroom and waited for, uh, you know, to pounce upon his prey um, and hoarded all the <laughs> toilet paper and uh, interrogated the chief. Um, mm-hmm. Basically, the chief came out to say, you know, you're going to get us killed. You're going to get my daughter killed. Um, I can't talk right now. Uh, let me eat dinner. I'll meet. I'll meet you in the park. I'll try to break free from security, and we'll take a uh, you know a walk in the park. I'll meet you in there in about forty five minutes. Um, you know, Looper showed him some evidence of some of Vice, uh, the one that Ace uh, killed, uh, basically narking out the chief and saying that's what they're doing with Vice and hooking up the Russians or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's where we left off. Let me bring it up and roll. Did I miss any uh, anything that we should mention? Anything of importance? Does that cover it? No, I think you got it. Yeah, pretty much covers it all. Yep. Okay, cool. I'm bringing up the map now. You guys should already be there on roll 20. Um, I'm also going to start up some Sirenscape. Let's get this uh, this restaurant going. And yeah, basically, uh, we'll take it right where we left off. Uh, you know, Looper uh, just talked to him. The chief walked back over, sat down with his wife. I can't remember if it was Naomi or uh, if it was, um, sorry, Cynthia or Ace that heard it inside the restaurant, but somebody uh, overheard it with a good perception that he was talking to his wife. No, I don't, don't just don't say anything. Um, you know, we're, we're, we'll, we'll, we'll have to meet somebody outside. They're, they're basically, you know, they, they know everything going on. They know everything, and, and we're going to have to talk to them. I, I don't know what else to do. Just let's eat our dinner, and then we'll go for a walk. Um, and then they start eating their dinner. I think it was Ace who was the one who made that check. Mm-hmm. Um, but I would have relayed the information to Cynthia mm-hmm. and everyone else over on our, you know, group. Uh, little group. Group text on the Chiron. <laughs> yeah, we can say that maybe Looper lets everybody know, you know, the info that he found out in the bathroom. Um, uh, if you want to relay any of that info, you can. Anything specific you want to go over about it. Other than that, Ace lets everybody know what he just heard. Um, so we know that they're going to eventually come to the park to kind of do their discussion. Um, so maybe um, myself and Phoenix, uh, I'll, I'll go to Phoenix, but like, okay, we should probably like, make sure this this area is clear and nobody nobody's around and they can have this conversation in private yeah i think the only thing he has is just his security guard we just got to make sure he doesn't follow them into the garden yeah yeah maybe we it's gonna be kind of tricky distract him yeah. somehow how good are your flirting skills to keep uh, attention? Gosh, <laughs> it's been a while since I've had to. Oh gosh. <laughs> um, I, I mean, I feel like you're way better than me, Phoenix, at talking to people. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> I, I can be. I can be your 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 wing woman, and maybe we can try to distract him a little bit. Yeah, because he smoked cigarettes, and I think that's all he was doing out there and just checking his phone. So as soon as they come out, we're just going to have to kind of, yes, kind of get him to, like, or walk with us in one way or just face the other direction so that other people can uh, yeah. interact with him. Uh, I wonder how much Simcoe I have left, because I don't know if I'm going to need that or not. It's going to be a... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Listening to Rook in the bathroom, the way he was talking, this is going to be <laughs> chaos. Mm. I know. <laughs> that needs to happen our step, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I agree. As soon as we start seeing everybody move, we'll just start to slowly go there. So I guess we'll just hang out here until the family yeah. come outside. That works. Yeah, we can streamline that. What's everybody want to do? Cynthia and Ace are inside just kind of having a drink. Um, Ellie and I'm gonna Phoenix keep... are in the park, and Looper is in that alley. What, what was that, Cynthia? I'm gonna keep an eye on the couple. I'm sure they're, you know, when they leave, get to leave them to follow them. I'll make sure they're going in the direction they're staying. They're going. Um, I'm gonna keep maintaining my distance because 
they don't need to know it's us following them quite yet. Um, I was thinking of uh, once we start following them, I'll wait out outside of the um, outside of the restaurant around here. Unless Looper, Looper, or you're probably going to go into the park with them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'll stay. I'll stay by the restaurant and just you know keep watch in case you know someone comes by from you know what would be our backs. I think it's best if I just wait in kind of a open area in the park for him to to be able to see me. But if uh, you guys want to take point, just to make sure that we don't get interrupted. Yeah, as long as he's sit, he's gonna have to like sit like on a bench or something. So because he's not supposed to be seen with you. So you guys got it. So you need somebody to be talking to, so you don't look like a total whack a job whack a doodle standing in a park. Sure. At least you need to sure. be doing something. Maybe bird watching. I don't know what's going on at night. She's dancing in the moonlight. <laughs> um, yeah. Is there like? Um, well, I I should be able to get over to the park by now, right? I mean, yeah, everyone can move their tokens kind of where they want to go. The park is right next door to the restaurant with that entrance that goes into it or from the outside. There's the guard out there that doesn't seem to be stopping anybody. Let, you know, Ellie Phoenix go in as long as you're not looking like a gang member or homeless or something like that. They try to keep the park somewhat clear of that. Um, and then if you want, uh, you can give me, since Phoenix and Looper were kind of discussing trying to figure that out, you can give me a deduction if you want. Or I'll even take tactics if you want to use that. Um, um, but Looper and Phoenix, I guess, the ones that were. Yeah, I can. I'll do a deduction. Where would that be? in our skills? Yeah. It's probably under uh, intelligence. Uh, Intellect. Education. Education, education skills. skills. Nice. Uh, let's, I'm still, okay, education stills. What am I looking for? Deduction. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Did it come in? Yeah. Yeah, you're not, you're, n nothing is coming to mind. I mean, we did kind of local knowledge before the restaurant, the park, how it all kind of works, but Looper kind of, you know, figures out like, you know, uh, this park is usually people that are going on date night to the restaurant. They stroll around just to kill some time, walk around, check out the, the, the flowers, the plants, because it's real live plants and stuff right in the middle of the city here in the combat zone, nonetheless, and, you know, old Japantown. But, um, you know, it's usually like kind of normal, uh, like, because you were wondering how to look normal. What, what are you going to do in the park? Um, possibly to look like a couple or something like that would work. I think Looper would know that. Yeah, I'd like, all right, Phoenix with me. Let's just, let's make it look like we're checking out the scenery here together, having a nice little little stroll together, all right? Do you want to take me? Yeah, I said, I said Phoenix, didn't I? I didn't hear you. Yeah, you want I'm Phoenix sorry. to go? Who's going to distract the... Uh, uh, oh, the oh, wait. I'm oh, yeah, them. I'm going to make sure they're getting to where they need to go. Oh, well, yeah, Ellie, Ellie, do you want to... With me then, and uh, Phoenix, since you know, yeah, you're, you're a slick talker. I, that's probably the better, the better option. Yeah, Watch it up there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll wander off this way. Do, 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 do. Very cool. And then I'll go with Uber, do our stroll through the park. I like how you, how you, you are, uh, it looks like you're strolling down in the would-be canal part instead of up on the bridge. <laughs> yeah, why you're are you? are taking a little dip. It's bridge. just, it's only <laughs> foot deep water with koi, little, little synthetic koi fish yeah. and stuff, but you guys are enjoying the, the soggy feet. Just going to cool, just going to cool your feet, walk through it. Uh, and sh shout out to Lion Banner Games for the uh, the maps, an official sponsor of Cyberpunk Uncensored. He has awesome maps. These are some of the static ones, but he also has animated maps, which I use in a lot of my streams. Um, so we'll be seeing the, more of those, too. Um, but yeah, it's getting about that time. It's about that 45-minute mark or so. 
uh, inside Cynthia, you know, don't even need a perception to see out of the corner of your eye that Chief Reppin and his wife seem to be finishing uh, their meal, um, kind of wrapping it up. Uh, the security kind of looks in every once in a while, and at one point, um, Reppin kind of raises his hand when security looks in. It seems like he's checking in because um, they should be done. Security um, walks in and goes up to Chief Reppin, and they start uh, uh, chatting with each other for a moment. Uh, Cynthia, do you want to give me a perception? Yeah, and yeah. Don't forget, and this is audio, so if you do have the audio suite, the the hearing boost, don't forget your plus two if 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 you didn't already add it in. If you have that, got uh, it. Well, three plus twos from chat. Uh, oh yeah, and we do oh, have three 15. plus twos uh, from chat yes. that can be used any time during the session. So, yeah. so that'll be. I'm gonna use one of them. It's gonna be a seventeen then. Plus two from I use me, and then plus two nice. chat. Perfect. Yeah, and that's that's what you would have needed um, through this sort of noisy restaurant. So you just hit the mark, and you you, you can overhear him basically telling security like I I, I don't want to leave yet. Let me just enjoy one night, one night with my wife. I just want to just enjoy the park for a moment. And the security guy says to him, uh, "We really need to go. This is not a lot of time, but okay, ten minutes, ten minutes, and meet me outside." And he goes back outside. You're right. Uh, can I, like, I guess, let Looper or uh, Phoenix know, like, hey, you guys, you're going, you're only going to have 10 minutes. Her, copy that. That's not more than I'll need. All right. Did I? Yeah, and you see Chief Reppin and his wife step out uh, out that sort of uh, patio exit um, and head into the park. Um, they walk out there. There's really no other people in the park tonight, um, just them taking a stroll as well as you two. Um, and they make their way kind of to the main path. Give them like a little side eye kind of nod. Yeah, he sees you and just nods. Um, is there any movement on the part of his security detail? Like, once they've entered the restaurant to let them know that they should leave, like, I, f I assume the guard comes out at some point? Yeah, he comes back out uh, and just posts up by the front door once again. Um, gets, okay. gets back on his agent. Okay. Yeah, what is uh, what is uh, Phoenix or Ace doing out there? Right now, I'm just going to be fussing with my agent like it's dying. I'm just going to be eyeballing him. As soon as he moves, then I'll make a move, but I don't want to start talking to him until I really necessarily have to. So I'm just messing with my agent, just like pacing, like I'm waiting on my date that never showed up. So I'm just going to kind of do that, maybe be his distraction of me pacing up and down. Okay. Yeah, you do that. Yeah, and... Yep. Oh, no, go ahead. No, go ahead. Oh, uh, Ace, uh, from what I saw on the map, this is like a um, like a bus stub or something. It probably is not in use anyway because combat zone. But I think he would just sit down on the bench, um, light up a smoke, and just, you know, have this like post-dinner smoke outside. Um, something entirely normal. Yeah, definitely. And what's Cynthia doing when you see a chief rep and his wife leave, security leaves, you're in there in the restaurant? I, I wait till they pass the threshold. I'll give it a couple seconds and I'm going to get up and follow them. So I'll probably be like right outside the door into the garden. Okay, cool. Yeah, you can move your token there. And yeah, what's the plan? Uh, Phoenix or Ellie and Looper. Um, it basically looks like chief rep and his wife are headed your way down that path that you can see on the map. And we'll say it kind of loops around the whole garden and comes back around. It look, looks like they're going to be walking the loop. What's Looper doing while they're walking the loop? Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll be following, you know, behind them, kind of just like pointing at trees and like act like I'm talking to Ellie, but really just kind of like muttering. I'll be like a couple of paces behind them and just trying to like and be like, all right, Bill. Yeah, they start walking, um, 
and uh, Chief Reppin just kind of talks back to you uh, and says, don't, don't get too close. Just don't get too close. Somebody's always fucking watching. Uh, this is my low security night, just date night, but, you know, let's just get this over and done with. I only have 10 minutes to talk. Uh, you know, the first thing I, you know, I, I can tell, obviously, <laughs> you're, you're neck deep in this. You have video of Garcia saying that shit. Obviously, you, you, you know what's going on, but you don't know everything. Like I said, I'm, I'm not part of this. I'm, I'm forced to do this. You know, my, my daughter was missing you know, like over 10 years ago, I, I got into the force and I, I chalked that up to missing persons after years and years of searching and, and trying to get her back. And I just, I accepted the fact that she was gone. But then just, just a couple years ago, I get hit up by some, some anonymous Russians. That's all I know based on their accent. And they're telling me they have my daughter and I've got to follow their their instructions to basically flush out all the good people in Vice and in the PD, put their people in charge, do everything that obviously you've been seeing going on. And you know, word's been getting out. I'm 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 looking bad here, but there's nothing I can do. You know, when this happened, I I, I started looking into it. And uh, oh yeah, I almost forgot. Let me put on my chief rep and face. Uh, there you go. Mm -hmm. He says, <laughs> yeah, when I first started, uh, you know, got got the message. I I I started looking into it, and they sent me a finger. You know, I thought. Oh, this is just some body bank piece or something. We, the DNA, we checked it. You know, I, it, it was hers. It was hers. And I thought, well, this can't be right. I, I, I pressed it a little more. I tried to be sneaky about it, but we, we dug around. I tried to look into any type of Russians or crime families, anything I could find. And, and, and they sent me a fucking hand. I, I, I stopped. I, I backed off. You know, I, I pushed it as far as I can. I, I just, I, I can't risk her life. I just got to do what well, they say. Well, you're t pretty close to this, man. So, I mean, I'd say keep playing ball with them. But look, I'm all about getting the truth out there. And I'm trying to trying to clean up this terrible police department we have going on here. And really, I just want justice to be served. I want the truth to be out there. People know need to know. But look, if they're blackmailing you... Then something worse is going on, and we can get to the bottom of it. So I just mm -hmm. I need your help. And where can you tell me where where is their operations? Where where are the what are they doing with with the bus that you guys give them? I have no idea where they're operating out of, and I I, I can't dig into it. I, all I was able to do was what they said, which is basically get their low lifes into vice. Unfortunately, get rid of the good guys. I I know nothing. <laughs> they do the busts. Apparently they do a drop off somewhere, but I, I'm never there. I'm never part of it. I'm just, <laughs> I'm the face, you know. I'm the one that can put their people in charge, get the hires and get the fires to happen. But I can't you do anything. Names. And the second I dig, I, <laughs> I get body parts sent, and that's my family. That's my daughter. Well, can you give me names of people on your team, people I can check out, people that can help me look into it? I mean, do you want to be doing this your whole life? I mean, you know this this road doesn't end anywhere good. Do you think that they're gonna suddenly just one day be happy with everything you've done and just give your daughter back and that's that? No, I don't this think just goes the way on. This pans out. No, this just goes on, and I do what I can to keep my daughter alive. Is how I'm playing this. <laughs> and as far as like names, your daughter back? as far as names, you know, there's Garcia and Tandy, but both of them came up dead, like I mentioned in the bathroom. But apparently, you didn't have anything to do with that or knew about it. But <laughs> that guy in your video, he was kind of the main one in Vice, pushing uh, the rest of them, but. Uh, other than that, you know, there's some public records of, of other hires. Vice is always kept anonymous. Uh, once I get them in and I push the paperwork, I'm kept out. But those are the main two. When's your next bust? I have no idea. It's all Vice. All I can say is this. If you're, if you're looking into these, these animals, then you need to, you need to move quick. You need to find out who these Russians are. You need to move quick before you get my daughter killed or all of us killed. You know, the second I poked around and started looking, they're sending me body parts, you know, and that took me days. I imagine if if you guys are already digging around and people are coming up dead and things are happening, then they're aware of it and they're probably already looking into it. And I, I'm going to... My... Uh communicator with the rest of the team. I was, I'm just going to be like, hey, does anyone have a disposable cell phone on them? Um, 
I don't mm -hmm. have anything in my inventory. Nope. Um, I'll do a, a 1d10 from Phoenix um, and let me know if it's under your luck stat. See if you're lucky enough to have a, a, a throwaway. Being a fixer, you know, maybe doing some shady deals and stuff on the side, you might have a, a burner. A 1d what? Uh, just a 1d10. 1D so 10. go over to that die symbol on the left. The 2. I imagine your luck is above a 2, right? Yeah, my luck is 4. There you go. Yeah, you've got a burner phone. You've got a disposable uh, agent. Yay! I got one! I whisper uh, I got one! If you, if you can anyway make a, uh, you know, a discreet walk into the park here and just pass that off to me. Um, throw it in the Got a new home for it. Maybe we can yeah, throw it in a bush. Oh, and we can grab it. Throw it in a bush. Bush, bush. Um, okay. Uh, Venus just kind of wanders off, frustrated, yelling at her phone, all irritated, and just walks off and acts pissed off and throws it. That, like, kind of gently throws it over in the bush. <laughs> I'm like, oh, he didn't show up! All right, yeah, Looper, Looper and Ellie give me a perception. <laughs> it won't be difficult, but this is to at least see if you see where it goes, and you don't have to dig around, you know, try to search for it. Sixteen for me. Nice. Yeah, you see it. Uh, Ellie saw where it landed. Okay. I'll, uh... <laughs> after, like, you know, we're doing a little bit of walking, I'll, I'll give it a minute or two, and then I'll go over to that bush and try to grab it. Yeah, I'm, I'm wandering. I'll start really? off talking to myself. <laughs> Yeah, you do that, Ellie. You can go grab that. Um, and yeah, the security out front, uh, we'll say since Ace is watching them and Phoenix is watching them as you walk over and toss your phone, um, there's a moment where he kind of like stops messing around with his phone and looks up, looks over kind of towards the park wall and walks over like leaning up, like looking over, trying to get a look at where Chief Reppin is, it looks like. Um. I mentioned in my con as I'm walking, be like, guys, you need to hurry up. He's getting a little antsy to his security guard. Ellie, you got that phone? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I'll try to hand it off. Well, I'll, I'll give it to Looper so he can do what he needs to do with it. Um, yeah, and I'll just, I'll just grab Ellie by the hand and we'll just pick up our pace and just start, you know, walking a little faster so we can mm -hmm. overtake them. And then I'll just mm -hmm. kind of just off the side, just shove it in his hands and be like, or stay in touch. Just walk past him. Yeah, give, yeah. Just keep walking. Yeah. Give me a stealth um, to see if you can, how sneaky don't, you can get. Don't push Ellie in the, in the little water. No DV, just a little <laughs> contested since security's kind of looking over the wall, checking on Chief Reppin. And uh, Phoenix wait. didn't cause a distraction there. She was handing off the phone. Oh yeah, you beat it. Yeah, you nice. you slide him the phone. Uh, security just kind of like looks, doesn't even notice that. Goes back, leaning up against the wall, fucking around on his agent again. Um, and also, uh, capricious nature redeemed a phone call with our with our points. We do have new rewards. Uh, in our bits, all kinds of plot changes and things, NPCs. One of them is receiving a call, or in Fallout's case, a hollow tape. That's why it says that there. But yeah, at this moment, uh, Looper, right when you hand off that that phone to uh, Chief Reppin, your your agent goes off. Uh, we'll say your uh, Benny's calling you, your brother. Oop! I think you were breaking up. I didn't hear any of that. I said, uh, yeah, I'll just turn away from, from him after I do that and just answer the phone. Just, Benny, what's up? Um, yeah, he, he just says, uh, um, hey, yeah, I just wanted to let you know I was digging through records. I was doing whatever I could to find out. And it looks like uh, like that eagle sickle tattoo thing is connected to some Russian crime family called the Orlov family. I don't know a lot about them, but apparently it's the Orlov family uh, kind of insignia or whatever. So if that's who you saw involved in this, then that's those are the Russians you're looking for, uh, the Orlov family. I also, um, I, I'm digging around. I, I found some type of communication about like their home base or wh where they deal with their goods or their things. It says I, I can't get a lot of detail out of it, but.
but I'm going to keep digging, and if I find out, I'll hit you back. Oh, thanks, bro. That'll, uh, that'll help us out a lot. Yeah, no problem. I'll talk to you soon, man. Thanks. Bye. Stay safe. Good All right. Call. Kitty. Mm -hmm. Kitty. <laughs> Cute. Yeah, it says that in, uh, uh what's that? <laughs> I think you lag a little. I was going to say, he couldn't wait. Oh. No, it's time. <laughs> it's time for cuddles, man. I'm sorry. He's he's very picked. He's very picked. Yeah. yeah, and sorry, uh, Looper, but yeah, you were breaking up a little. Did you say something after that phone call? Uh, no, I... Uh, okay. Uh, it's, yeah, it was... yeah, no problem. Well, then yeah, uh, security's just kind of posted up out front, fucking around on his agent. Chief Rep and, uh, just leans back again and says, so whatever you do, just... Please be quick. Don't get my daughter killed. It seems like you've already got some evidence cooking. This is the farthest I've seen anybody be able to get when it comes to this case. Everyone else has dropped it. There's nothing we can do. So if, if you're on it, just please be quick. Find out who these Russians are. Just track them down. Get, get my fucking daughter. Expose these assholes. All right. Well, if, if you, uh, you come across anything else, the number's in there, you give me a call. All right? Yeah, I will. Hey, uh... One more thing, if, uh, I keep forgetting to put on his face, I apologize. <laughs> one, one more thing, uh, I, I, I know you said you, you, you weren't responsible, you didn't have, uh, oh, did we lose you? Looks like the okay. video. Okay. A little bit there. Uh -oh. oh. there you oh. are. There you are. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, you oh. hear me, Will? I can hear you. Okay, good, yeah, your video froze, I just wanted to make sure, but he says, uh, he says, hey, I know you said, uh, he showed me that video of Garcia and shit. I told you how him and Tandy ended up, well, executed, uh, murdered. Uh, look, I know you said you had nothing to do with that or whatever, but uh, if you happen to run across the people that did take out those assholes, just, uh, you know, thank them for me. The city uh, really appreciates that and we're indebted to you. He kind of turns around and we'll walks away with his wife. Oh. That was, uh, more or less a success? Yeah. Plot thickens. Like, yeah, we got some good information. Oh, well, Benny might ha might know where these Orlovs operate out of. He might get yeah. back here. But... Okay, that's good. Because it's good that we have a name, but I, have n I know nothing about this family and where we can find them. I can have my Netrunner do some checking around to see if there's anything on the dark web maybe or on the garden on the net. yeah among the net see if there's anything interesting for them I'm sure I can look in around and stuff too but let's go ahead and get out of this area uh, yeah um, <clears throat> let's go home we all kind of came in together we shouldn't leave together we shouldn't leave together um, so I'm gonna wander off into the bar <laughs> And call a cab to come get me, and I'll meet you guys there. Unless uh, one of, one other person wants to come with me, so we're not all leaving together, unless they leave before us. I thought Reppin would have left before us. Yeah. All right. Yeah, then, we're all, then we all can leave together then. Yeah. Yeah, and we can say after a while he walks around and leaves. Security kind of comes and flags him down, and he has to leave. He just gives you a look, Looper, and. Uh, continues on. They drive off, and you're able to tactfully, either collectively or individually, like Phoenix mentioned, um, get yourself back to the Veritas home base. Shout out to Capricious Nature, kind of beefed up the the firehouse graphic there with a the hologram and stuff. But so um, cool. oh, nice! Oh my gosh, I love Sweet. it. That is awesome. That yeah. is super cool. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Oh, yeah. Um. But yeah, you're, you're able to make it back there, and uh, yeah, you at least were able to talk to Chief Reppin and kind of kind of feel it out. Luke was able to, to figure out that he doesn't seem like he's the bad guy there. He's kind of a victim of circumstance. They've yeah. hold, holding his daughter. I feel um, bad for him now. <laughs> yeah, it seems like the, yeah. only, the only leads that you have are, uh, you know, what you got from Pickles and Looper's brother. You know, it's the yep. Orlov crime family. Mr. Orlov runs an import-export business somewhere out of Night City. Um, you also know that uh, some of his gang members and people have been known to hang out at the Chrome Catheter over there in the Haywood. 
um, yeah, Westbrook Haywood area. Um, other than that, Chief said, you know, try to act fast. They probably already know that you guys are digging mm -hmm. around and. Yeah. Well, um, Pete, did we uh, learn how um, how old uh, his daughter was when she was taken? Yeah, around ten or so, ten or eleven. And, and how long has it been since? Uh, ten yeah. years. Yeah, just over ten years. Whoa. Okay. Uh, she's not a child anymore. Wow. No, no she's an she's an adult missing a hand. Wow. <laughs> Okay, that's yeah. Well, those are easily replaced anyway. <laughs> now, yeah. I mean, but still, the psychological torture of having your hand removed yeah. just to be sent to your dad's kind of messed up, man. Yeah, the body part. <laughs> she had the finger and then the hand. Oh, the naughty. Um, would you think that after all these years, Stockholm syndrome might have kicked in? Oh, I hope not. Probably, but, but likely, yeah. If it isn't, then she's. If it isn't Stockholm Syndrome, she's way too afraid to even make a move of any kind there. Like, she's either been fully indoctrinated or she's terrified and she's not going to be going anywhere or near death. Or it could be already a corpse. There's no proof to show that, like, she wasn't already dead when they sent the hand. Right. Yeah. Just saying. So we need to find some evidence that she's actually alive. But how do we do that without adding ourselves? If we add ourselves, then we can pretty much guarantee her death. Hands I down. Know. Uh. Well, who's uh who's down to go get a uh, a nightcap at the um chrome catheter? Chrome catheter? Yeah. No, yeah, why maybe not? We That's, should take a trip uh. down there. I just like the name. I love that name. It's a great yeah. name. <laughs> I just, given a name, it just sounds like it's going to be painful and a little bit of annoying. <laughs> um, like, hey, thanks for the follow. Copious salt. 349. Um, yeah, you can do that. You can head over there. Uh, you, it's easy to look it up. You know exactly where it is. It's actually right down the street from Elysium, that BD bar uh, run by Vero, uh, Vera. And you, uh, yeah, you can head over there. I'll bring up the the map. Um, you initially pull up. Uh, you know, it's kind of a rundown place. Everything's all chromed out. Although it looks like it's more like polished metal and steel versus true chrome. Uh, but everything is somewhat shiny, a little bit dingy. Um, but you pull up. Uh, I'll get you over here to the parking lot initially. Put the players there. And again, oh, um. I, I lock the door behind us when we leave. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Um, we have to call it. <laughs> and shout out uh, Lion Banner Games for the animated map. You can see the, the fire going there. Um, there's a little a bin. Looks like a couple, a few thug looking people, uh, like booster gang looking people hanging out by the fire over there. And. Uh, and yeah, so uh, the cars. map's all black for me. Yeah, it's all solid black. Same. You gotta back it out. No, well, even by uh, zooming out, I see three tokens. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like over here. But all black screen. Other but than yeah, that. I think dynamic lighting might be uh, might be on. And if our minis aren't on, no. no yeah, I, if I the see... minis don't have vision, we don't see anything. I, I see it. Uh, yeah, it's black for me too. Oh shit! Um, you don't have the uh, the download animated see... map thing. Oh no, I can't. To this oh, computer. Oh yeah, I tried. Yeah, I thought Maybe... I had downloaded it. Maybe I didn't set it up properly. Let me check. Oh, uh, well, I have. You know what? You can go to uh, go to Twitch. I don't have anything real Fog of War on this. Right. Um, so if you just okay. look at the map on Twitch, it won't ruin anything. Mm -hmm. I'm already doing. I'm already on it. <laughs> cool. She's like, I moved on. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, you should be able to at least see, uh, you know, the parking lot. You pull in. Um, if you're looking at mm -hmm. that parking lot, over there by that yellow crooked car up in the top right, there's kind of an alleyway um, that, that uh, circles down the side of the building where the entrance to the chrome catheter is. Um, otherwise, to the right is a main street. Also, to the bottom is a main street. But you pull up. Uh, you can pull up parking on the street or you can pull up into this parking lot, whatever you prefer. 
So you guys fill me in on how you're arriving. What car are we using? Um, that's a good question. I thought we were just going to be taking a, ta a taxi or something or cab down there. Because we can't yeah. use uh, Ellie's car right now. Right. Yeah. Yeah, we took a we took a cab. Yeah, I guess we can just take a cab. It's just if we need to get out fast, we won't be. Able we're to running. Go. We'll just run. <laughs> yeah. Hope right. everyone's worked on a cardio. <laughs> um. So yeah, I guess we would come in, probably, by the street. The street. Yeah, we'll say the cab pulls right up. Uh, yeah. On the on the street uh, to the left there. Um, and looking at the side building, you can see you have to walk through the parking lot um, to get down the kind of the front entrance uh, to that alley, or you can go down this little side street. There's another alley that looks like it circles around the other side of the building. Um, so you can either go down the alley or you can cut through this parking lot. Well, I want to look around and see what kind of shady people are hanging out. Same. I... Oh, where's my character sheet? Ugh. Who got a critical fail? <laughs> Fall out of the cab? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, a bird spit in my eye while I was trying to look. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible luck. Um, but yeah, I mean, with those, yeah, you're seeing, like I described, you know, pretty much a rundown parking lot. The, this part of the uh, of um, Haywood or whatever isn't isn't that great. Um, it's more more industrial. This part isn't that clean. Lots of garbage, uh, some beaters and stuff. You can hear music kind of playing from inside the club. Um, we can even get a little bit of uh, music through the wall sounds. Uh, thanks to Sirenscape. But yeah, you basically, uh, you're seeing the alley to the left, or the parking lot to the right. Um, not much else going on. Yeah, I didn't see any cars mysteriously, like, pull up with us or anything? <laughs> no, you didn't yeah. notice anything. Okay. Well. Let's go get our drink on. Yeah, I Cut guess through we'll that. head in. Cut through the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> Where's our tokens? Um, yeah, let me pull out. That's a good point. <laughs> there you go. All right, everyone should be right there. And yeah, you basically walk through the parking lot. Um, and uh, you know, the only thing that you notice are uh, those booster gangers in, in the parking lot. Um, you can tell because uh, they're all wearing kind of like matching colors and stuff. Um, and they're just kind of hanging out. Looks like they're smoking, drinking, um, just talking to each other. They, they uh, look up as you walk by but don't even say anything. They just go back to talking to each other. I got no problem. Yeah, yeah, we have no problem with that. Yeah, you guys can go around front, uh, kind of get into the, the chrome catheter. <laughs> I'll bring up the, uh, the club. Let's see if that shows up on. Uh... Oh yeah, you guys will have to look at it on Twitch. Ooh, fancy! I see it. It's it's awesome. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah oh, out. I love it. Shout out to Lion Banner Games. Um, but you guys enter. Um, you can basically see. Um, the the entrance over here. Uh, let me see. Pointer. Um, the parking lot. The parking lot is up here, uh, where you walked around the corner of the building to get to the entrance. Um, back there is the alley, and you can access from either end. Um, let me pull your tokens in there. Yeah, you enter the club and uh, everybody give me a perception. Dumb as hell. <laughs> what did you get? I got a hold on. 
Oh, like a nine. <laughs> Fail. Yeah. Blan is a fat bud. Yeah, um, <laughs> the club's pretty packed full of people. Everyone's just kind of drinking and, and doing what they're doing. Some people dancing. Um, there's a DJ in the corner. Um, it looks like there's some stairs going up uh, all the way on the side of the club. Uh, other than that, some people playing pool. But Looper, you notice, uh, first thing you notice, are the, you know, it looks like there's three uh, guys hanging out by the bar talking to each other. And you can see that sort of eagle sickle tattoo on one of the guy's necks, another one on a guy's wrist. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go over and uh, sit next to, you know, kind of kind of close by to them about probably one stool down, give a give a space, stool space of uh, since there and uh, try to just uh, center what they're saying. Uh, if the bartender comes up, I'm just going to look at him, just be like, smash. Yeah, you can put your token uh, wherever you want to post up. Um Yeah, everyone can move their tokens if you're going to the bar or wherever you're going to go. And then, um, yeah, bartender hooks you up with a smash. Um, anybody else that's at the bar can order a drink. Um, they're going to ask you what, they, what, what you want. Yeah, it's going to be smash for me too because i got to satisfy that craving. I'm going <laughs> to go to the, one of these pool tables or something. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go, you know, just mingle in but be kind of looking around and see if I notice anybody else uh, while most of the rest of the crew's at the bar. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's funny, that's what I was hitting over to the bar, uh, the yeah. pool table. I'm just gonna go ahead and slap down like, <laughs> And say what? You cut out for a second. I got next. Okay, yeah, there's Who wants two... to play? Oh, I'm down. I'm down for some pool. Yeah, there's two guys playing pool. They both look up at you three ladies and yeah, uh, you ladies want to play teams or something? Why not? I don't even know how to play. I just pushed the, ball, pushed the stick in the, in the thing. All right. Well, maybe, maybe, if, yeah, maybe you we'll should be, be on that team and we'll play for money then. I don't know. <laughs> we could play for drinks. I like that idea. All we right. We could play for rounds. <laughs> yeah, they start racking it up and getting ready to play. Uh, and Looper, playing off that same perception, I won't make you roll it again, especially everybody having the you know, cyber audio suite going on and can hear well. Um, even in a noisy club, and you're just a couple, you know, a couple seats down, but you overhear them talking to each other, um, and they're they're speaking Russian uh, to each other, uh, which I can translate. All right. Well, I'm just gonna record, um, you know, I can. Yeah, we'll translate later. But I'm listening through my ears, so if anything like seriously happens, I'll let you guys know. Sounds good. Yeah, and I have an audio oh. recorder. Yeah, uh, Phoenix, what are they saying? Raul, GM, what are they saying? Yeah, if you're feeding, uh, <laughs> I'll say that, yeah, Looper can kind of feed the audio uh, through his agent, sending it to everyone just so they can hear and Phoenix well, can translate. Yeah, because I have audio ears too, remember I'm deaf? Yeah, yeah, uh, well, you can give me a perception check if you want, uh, otherwise we can have Looper just feed it to you, but yeah, go ahead and roll that. Um, have you kind of overhearing... <laughs> Yeah, because he's going to um, record it anyways. Do you want me to do a perception, you said? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you're, you're, not, yeah, you're not picking up enough detail, um, but Looper is able to at least feed you uh, his audio, we'll say. I mean, you're able to overhear these guys talking to each other. Um, seems like they're, they're talking about some girl that they hooked up with and some other party that they had for the family. Um, and then one of the guys uh, says, yeah, it's getting kind of late. Uh, we should probably head out soon. Um, and then you notice uh, two of them basically saying that, uh, you know, well, we're going to head home and call it a night anyways. And uh, we'll meet up tomorrow. And one of the other guys says, well, I need to go check in at the base. Um, and that's about all they're saying. It sounds like they're kind of wrapping it up a little bit. Ooh, they're gonna be leaving soon. I wish we had a tracker on them. They're leaving. Oh shit, man, we don't have a car. Um, I can I can follow them. I can tail them. Foot tail. Do you mean a safe tail? 
Well, I mean, what's the worst that could happen? I mean, I'm just a guy walking down the street, after all. That is true. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. They, yeah. I mean, it depends if they're going on foot or not. We're What's in the like combat a... zone, right? Yeah. A carjacking happens. Or no, happens you're in uh, so quickly. Um, sorry, no, you're in that industrial. Uh, you're in. Uh, Haywood. Yeah, Haywood? exactly. Uh, I mean, carjackings New, New happen Westbrook. so quickly. <laughs> Hay Haywood border. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> carjackings do happen. True. Uh, you gotta do something. Yeah, I'd say otherwise. We go uh, try to get a car. You do that, I may just go and have a chat with one of them. You know, the one who knows where that base is. Uh, can you do that with, you know, without killing him? Yeah, that's kind of what I was getting at there. Yeah. I'll just make happened. sure he, yeah. Yeah, but my, my goal right now is to make sure he has a very big hangover tomorrow. Okay. You know what? Um, in, in case they do leave while you do this, I'm going to go outside. I have a pretty good knack for breaking into cars and, and, and getting one. I'll get a car in the parking lot ready, just in case. I won't do anything just yet, but... It looks like they're gonna try to get out, and they're driving away. Uh, I'll make sure to get you a car so we can follow. Hopefully, it's not their car. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Just don't let those ga games in the parking lot see you. Yeah, I'll I'll try to be discreet. Yeah. So Ellie is gonna go out to the parking lot and kind yeah. of scope out the cars. Yep. Um, but, and I'll, but try to be discreet about it, you're saying? Yep, so I'll wait. I, I won't, like, break into any cars just yet, but if I get a word from Ace or the rest of the crew that they're looking to get out fast, then I'll uh, break into a car. All right, cool. Um, and so what is uh, uh, Phoenix and Cynthia doing? Well, we're in the middle of playing pool with these guys. We're like starting the game, but we're still kind of just bumping around. I'm just totally just just fucking around. <laughs> Not even playing. <laughs> I'm at the pool table, just hanging out. It's like, yeah, cool. <laughs> All right, cool. And Looper, uh, just enjoying my smash, kind of just looking out for uh, if they're gonna keep on the move. Um, I'm just I keep my recorder going just in case you know anything. They say anything else, um, and just you know, kind of feeding that to Phoenix in case you know, <laughs> in case they say something like, "Hey, let's leave right now." Yeah, basically, yeah, just hanging out, enjoying my smash, just keeping an eye on things. Yeah, you do hear uh, um, they kind of finish their drinks, and Phoenix, uh, in between, kind of half-ass playing and hanging out at the pool table. Um, you do over here in that recorder feed, um, the guys, you know paying off their tab and saying, all right, let's call it a night. Yeah, fuck it. We've had it. We've had enough. Um, and they all start kind of walking out. I had to lay that to the team like, ooh, it's getting hot in here. I think I need to go outside because you know, I got to go, gentlemen. And I just give them a little bit of tip on the table and just start grabbing Cynthia, being allowed so that everybody else can hear. She's just going with the flow at this point. She's like, all right, bye, guys. Yeah. <laughs> they look really confused. They're like, we, we haven't even finished. I thought we were playing for drinks. Really? I got a better offer. Good night, gentlemen. Uh, Just keep grabbing Cynthia. They start talking to themselves. Um, yeah, what's, uh, what's Ace doing now? Um, so I'm more interested in the one person who talked about the base tomorrow. Um, less so about the two others. Um, do they split up at any point? Because yeah. I would try to get that that base guy by himself. Yeah, the uh, you see that the two guys um, as they step out. If you're kind of posted up watching that, um, you see that the two guys 
um, you know, they, they step out front, they all kind of say their goodbyes, um, and the two guys make their way towards the parking lot, whereas the single guy starts walking back towards the alley. Then I'm going to walk back towards the alley. Alright, cool. What's, and, uh, uh... What's Lupin? Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to, um, you know, slap down my my Eddie's to pay for my, my drinks, and then I'm gonna keep an eye on Ace and you know slowly follow you know a little bit behind him. Um, not that I don't trust what you're doing, but you know I just want to keep an eye on things just to keep in case uh, he's a little hairy. All right, cool. And uh, where is uh, Phoenix and uh, Cynthia going? I guess we're gonna wander off into the into the parking lot too, but not too close to anybody. Just like looking like we're looking for a cab or ride. Just talking to each other, but paying attention. Thing with an earshot. Yeah. Then we're we're looking for Ellie, making sure we see her <laughs> with the car. Yeah, yeah, we can say Ellie's over here, maybe by that car or something. Um, and yeah, the, uh, yeah, you see two of the, those guys come out and they walk over next to this car. Um, and they're just kind of leaning up against the car and talking to each other. I mean, they're just posted up. Uh, can't really hear what they're saying, but they're just talking to each other. Keep an eye on them. Yeah. And then back in the alley. Um, let's see here. I'll bring it up. Ooh, double feature. Um, nice. Yeah, and back in the alley, uh, you basically see um, the guy walk in. Uh, I guess it would be this side. I mean, he kind of walks back into the alley. Let me grab your tokens, Ace. And I guess Looper was a bit behind. Um, but yeah, you uh, the guy kind of walks back in the alley and posts up, and he gets on his agent, and you hear him uh, speak in Russian to somebody. Um, I'm going to pretend to be drunk and stumble through the alley. I want to bump into him to make him drop his agent or at least maybe have to hang up or, or what have you so that there's a plausible explanation as to, you know, why the, uh, the call is cutting off and it doesn't immediately, you know, trigger an alarm or something in, in whoever uh, he's talking to. Alright. Yeah, you can do that. You can move your token over next to his and then give me a, um, um, I guess it would be brawling. Use your luck! A little bit, a little, a little bit of targeted grapple to hit the, to get, hit the phone mm -hmm. out. I will use uh, my two points of luck. I'm still, by the way, um, I can see the map on um, Oh, on the, the stream. That's right. But in, well, no, but the thing is, on Roll20, I'm still uh, on the map where uh, Cynthia, Phoenix, and uh, Ellie are. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me get you to the alley. There you go. I just moved your token over there, too. No problem. Uh, so, yeah, I'll use both of my luck because I really need to make this look like it's an accident. There's a couple plus twos as well. And, and it looks like Capricious Nature uh, rewarded a critical injury that any player can use in the future as well. So keep oh. that in mind. Okay, that we can deal to someone, basically? Exactly, yeah. Nice. Okay, cool. So that would be a 16 with my luck, and if y'all agree, I would use a plus two to bump it up to 18. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Yeah, you successfully uh, knocked the phone out of his hand. I mean, you can either take it or knock it out of his hand. Whatever you want to do, you successfully were able to do that. <laughs> okay, if I go with my drunk thing, I will grab it from his hand, and... Um, I will pretend I'm like calling someone that I know, like this was my own agent. I'm like, uh, oh, hey, can you come pick me up, man? I am wasted. So, and, and is there a voice on the other hand? Oh, yeah, there's somebody speaking Russian. Um, and then the guy looks at you and he's like, hey, what the fuck, drunk guy? It's my phone, my call. And he starts like trying to grab it back. Um, but you're still on that successful grapple. You you still have it. This is yeah. still that moment. Okay, so I'll I'll keep the phone 
away from him. Uh, just, you know, replying, What does mean your phone? This is my phone. Fuck you're on about, man. And if he proves to be a little too um, handsy, I will break his agent. Yeah, he's definitely trying to grab at it. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, he's definitely being handsy. He's uh, he's trying to grapple it. Uh, next move, you can tell he's you know gonna grapple you. Uh, try to get this thing. Then uh, I'll try to break it before he gets a chance to grapple me. Okay, cool. Yeah, give me your uh, your brawling. We'll do a little contest here. Though. Sure. I've got no more luck. I had brawling earlier. Where did it? Oh, there we go. At one day. Nice. Yeah, you easily uh, break the agent. Uh, he tries to grapple out of your hand. He's gone. Ah! You start saying some shit in Russian. Um, you don't speak Russian, but you've heard cuss words uh, in in many languages. You, you know, like most people. Yeah. You at least know the curse words. You know. Um, you can. Totally I figure tell. he's not happy. Exactly. Yeah. No. He's he's cussing and kind of uh, looks really pissed off. Um, what's everybody doing in the parking lot? Uh, those two guys are still leaned up against that vehicle, just kind of talking to each other. Ellie, Cynthia, and Phoenix. You're muted, uh, well, if you were saying something. Can I do a uh, eavesdrop on their conversation? Yeah, give me a perception. Yeah. Ow. Yeah, you're not hearing it from this from this distance. Uh, you know, you're trying to be trying to be safe, keeping a distance, look natural. Uh, yeah, you're not picking up enough. You can tell they're talking to each other in Russian, but no details. Can I try my read lips on my next move? I'll do it. I, re I, I forgot I got read lips. <laughs> oh yeah, you can give me lip reading. Oh, okay. Let's see. I'll do that. And I am I am uh, you know streamlining some of these situations since we're split up, and I know I kind of doubled the turns uh a 10 um yeah you're not picking up enough but you can tell they're they're talking about you know their scheduling and stuff like something about having to check in with the boss tomorrow morning and yeah let's just call it a night and um and then talk something about a possible booty call and did you call her oh. and things like that like they're just kind of i guess chumming it and talking to each other before they're calling it a night is what you're getting out of it Okay. Do they, do, do they look like they own the car that they're standing next to? Like, are they leaning up against it? Like, oh, yeah. They yeah. own it? Yeah, okay. they're leaned up against it. Uh, we'll even say okay. one one of them even kind of hits something. You're boop, like a little car alarm as it opens. It. But he's just still, still has it open, but they're still talking to each other. Okay. At least one um, of them. I'm going to move closer to the alleyway that Ace went down. Try to, like, make sure that's going well. Okay. Yeah, you start making your way down the alley. Um, what's Looper doing? Oop. I think you're, you're muted. muted. Sorry. The, I'm, cur uh, the I'm curse sorry. of the mute. We were rocking, <laughs> we were rocking some mute. serious mute Dude. action tonight. It's going to turn into a drinking game because how much we need. I know. <laughs> um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just, you know, I'm going to keep recording. But I'm gonna, you know, slowly just appear down the alley and make myself known, and, just, and then I'm just gonna be calling out, you know, just like fake name, just like, oh, Steve, Steve, there you are. Like, where'd you wander off to? Like, make a new friend, man. I'm just gonna wander up to him, like, act like I'm a little tipsy myself, a little bit, like I have a little bit more of a handle than uh, than Ace does. All right, yeah, you walk over um, and kind of play that game. Uh, give me a persuasion as you're saying that. Or acting. Okay. Let's, do, let's do acting. Alright. Or... <laughs> uh, Simon, I see you say a screw fell off your mic, but you can't see where it came from. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a little disconcerting because it's not small. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's going to fall apart at one moment. I mean, it's nah. holding. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Uh, eight, 18. Oh, nice. Um, 
Yeah, you, you say that, you kind of stumble up, but act like you have a bit more composure than Ace and say all that. And the guy kind of like backs up, hey, drunk friend, break my agent, this is bullshit. And he pulls out his gun. Do you want some fucking trouble? Hey, get your whoa, friend. Whoa, man. Hey, don't need pulling people pulling guns on us, man. Just, it's a simple mistake. Let me buy you a drink, man. No, you give me a well, hundred uh, eddies for my agent, this asshole, break it. He your friend? He's your friend? Oh, I, I, uh, I have. Yeah. I have your eddies right here, and I'll I'll motion like I'm pulling something out of my pocket, and I'll just deck him. Nice. Use that. Use Love that. Critical, use that critical injury. <laughs> yeah, do, uh, um, yeah. Yeah, let me do an initiative here too, so we can get a bit of an order. Uh, well, if you guys yeah, can sure. click on your token at least. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah. Let me clear the. Roll the, the inish. Let me clear there what's in there so far. Uh, all right, now do it. Sorry, it wasn't clear. Oops, no problem. Maybe you'll get a bit. Oh, sorry. Now you got a worse one than you first had. <laughs> uh, sorry, give me a sec here. My window closed on me. And initiative oh. is on me. It's initiative. No, I think it's on the combat tab. If I'm oh, not combat, mistaken. combat one. Mm -hmm. There it is. Yeah, I'll be right back. I have to take Rusk out real quick. Okay. I'll make sure uh, Cynthia might get killed. We'll see. <laughs> you know what? For Roscoe, worthy death. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, sorry. Uh... Yeah, give me your, uh, give me, you have martial arts for that punch? Um, no, I do, uh, do I have martial arts? No, I don't. I have brawling. All right, yeah, give me brawling. I'm, I'm more of a, a tavern brawler than an actual martial artist. Yeah, uh, 13. Yeah, 11. What'd you say? Ooh, What'd got it. Have? 13. Nice, yeah, this guy, uh, as he's pulling out his gun and arguing, he's like talking to Looper, your friend owe me a hundred, didn't even pay attention to you, uh, wasn't able to dodge it, he tried to move, but you just deck him, give me the, the damage. Um, oh boy, I don't have, uh, basic unarmed damage on that sheet, uh, for a second. Do anyone have it on their sheet? Because um, otherwise I'll, yeah, I'll if go you didn't grab write the, it in, uh, might be able to just do just do uh i'm not sure what your body is but it's probably just a 2d i want to say 2d6 i have yeah i just opened the data sheet uh, data screen and it did brawling and martial arts i think my body is a six so it might be just 2d6 yeah i think so. um body is a seven so it's 3d6 all right nice so that would be a seven damage Never mind, I embraced death. He didn't need anything. He just wanted to be a bugaboo. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you give him a punch, uh, and you, you you can tell he's wearing some armor, some type of, of armor. He's not, like, mm. full-on in some thick armor jack style uh, whatever, but he is armored up a bit. Um, but the punch gets through. Uh, you, you deck him. He spits out a little bit of blood. You can just see the shock in his eyes. You completely caught him off guard. Um, and Looper, you can go. Your, your initiative's next. You see Ace um, deck this guy. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna... Um, I'm gonna take a shot at his leg. I'm just gonna bust up my gun and just try to bam, like, right in the leg. Okay, yeah, give me your handgun. Pull that back up. And gun. You gotta be uh, 15. I'm gonna use a... Uh, Plus two from chat as well. If we have any of those left, do we have any of those left? Oh yeah, there's plus twos. I think we do. Um, and keep in mind, if this is an aim shot as leg, you've got that negative uh, eight. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, so if you're using a plus two, that's only a negative six. Six. Um, and then there's also me... a critical injury there. You could just call that a leg shot and break his leg if you wanted. Oh, okay. Uh, oh yeah, I could just skip the do a regular if you want. Shot Capricious then... nature rewarded you a critical. Oh, if you okay. Wanted. Okay, so I can just do a regular shot? Yeah. Okay. Uh, then, yeah, I'll do that with the plus two from chat. Okay. 
Okay, sweet. Right, so That's a 20. Hit, and then... you're using that critical? Yeah. All right, yeah. Uh, hit, give me the damage of the shot first off. Where do I do my damage? Um, it should be whatever handgun, wherever your uh, weapon is. Uh, pistol. Uh, if you... Yeah, there it is. Got it. Yeah. Then... 11? Yeah. Plus the 5 for the critical. Um, and yeah, you, uh, you do quite a bit of damage there. Um, you basically see... Uh, blood splatter out you hear the crunch of his bone uh, snap as the bullet just pierces his leg and he crumbles to the ground he just yells out ah! and you start screaming in Russian um, as he pulls out his gun and uh, aims it at you um, around front in, in the parking lot um, boat, uh, as Cynthia's walking down the alley you hear the gunshot you hear some Russian yelling and stuff uh, Ellie and Phoenix in the parking lot you, you both hear a gunshot you hear some screaming in Russian uh, there's two guys by their car, they just kind of like look at each other all like shocked and, oh shit, he kind of closes his car door and you see him reaching in their jacket, grabbing their guns and they start beelining down the alleyway. Oh shit. Uh-uh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we yell at our con. They're coming! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Two more, they, they're coming. Uh, I'm gonna, can I, before we follow them to the alley, which I'll probably end up doing, uh, if they leave their car unattended, um, you know, they just ran in, grabbed their stuff, oh, they and did. ran they just out. Ran. Okay, maybe I'll try to take their car or yeah. look in it and see if anything's in it. Um, just to, like r rummage through all their stuff and see if there's any uh, stuff in their car that might be useful for us. All right. Yeah, any you evidence? go. You go over to the car. Um, you can give me. Um, it's going to be electric uh, <laughs> security. Uh, um, let me find the skill. It's a tech skill, right? Yeah, it's under oh, yeah. electronic oh, security. This is one of those specialty ones, right? Um, yeah, it's not just a sort of analog lock, it's digital. I'm going to use a plus two for this one as well, so we'll add that in. Roll 15, 16, 17. Nice. Yeah, you get it open. Um, you're able to kind of mess with the coding, and the, and the car unlocks and opens. Um, Phoenix, what are you doing as you see Ellie going over um, to the car and, and popping it open and those Russian guys heading back to the alley? Um, hmm, that's a good question. Do I still have enough Simcoe on me? Because now things are getting hectic. Yeah, you oh, do. No, I okay, I, she go ahead in my turn. I go ahead and take a nice little bumpy bump because I know shit's going to get hectic. Although I got to flip around and help with Ellie fight this guy's awful. So I'm just gonna stand it like this. <laughs> First and foremost, and yell to Cynthia, watch your back! Oh, I, I totally forgot that um, since I'm not on synth code right now, I should have a negative fire on me. Oh. Um, I think oh. your last reflex scene with the gunshot was already high enough anyway, so that negative yeah. shouldn't have mattered. Yeah, I think that. Um, just make sure you account for that. Put that modifier in there. Um, yeah. Yeah, because I'm going to stay like, in, the, in the way of the car and the alley. So if they come this way, they'll run into me. But I'm yelling at Cynthia, they're behind you! <laughs> yeah, you say that, you do the coke. What's Cynthia doing? As well, I whip around and like, oh, and I jump out the way. They let them pass me. I'm just going to follow them into the alley, though, once they pass me. Okay. But I'm going to pull out my gun. Okay, cool. I'll put... Uh, Put Cynthia over there at the beginning of that alley. We'll grab a couple more of these Russian guys as they come around the corner. Um, and that guy takes a shot at you, uh, Looper, after you shot his leg and he fell to the ground. Um, so I don't know if your reflex is eight or higher uh, right now with that negative on the on the coke situation. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. It's uh, okay. uh, <laughs> take a minus. Uh, two points to my so i'm down to a uh, would, would six on the reflex six on the reflex i got a critical success on that too it would have been hell for you to dodge that oh it, crap it hits you oh no uh, 12 points of damage oh oh look you don't have any synth coke on you and then he takes a shot 
and then he takes a shot at Ace. Um, I don't know if Ace, if you've got an evade. Uh, I'm at seven. Yep, that's a hit. Uh, you guys are right there. Uh, easy for him to get the shot off. Um, he took 11 points of damage. So my... Uh... Uh, but yeah, pop, pop, couple shots off. Uh, both Looper and Ace each take a hit. Um, and those guys come around the corner um, and they just start yelling. Uh, one of them gets on his agent um, as he's pulling out a gun in his other hand and the other guy is pulling out his gun. Um, but back around, uh, we'll go by that initiative right there. Uh, Looper. Um, uh, all right, so there's some garbage cans on the other side of Ethan and the uh, Russian dude over there, right? Yeah. Okay, how far Yeah, it is looks that? like there's a dumpster on the other side of the alley with garbage piled up, some garbage bins at the other end with some fencing. Um, looks like there's some vendant machines along the side. Um, it looks like a back entrance to uh, a big stack sort of uh, uh, apartment complex back there. Okay. Um... I might have screwed the pooch on this one. Um, okay, so I'm a I'm a run back to get cover in that dumpster, but bo before I do, I'm gonna take two shots at the the closest dude. Okay, what's Me. the? Uh, um, what's your movement? My movement is a four. Um, yeah, I don't think you'll make that. Yeah, you won't make it all the way to the dumpster uh, back there. Is there uh what can I make it to then? I can probably get in between one of those vendors though. Oh wait, oh okay, I thought those vendors were right above me, my bad. Yeah, um, yeah, there's not much that you can get cover from, but you can, you can start making your way towards that dumpster, you can get almost to it. Okay, I'll, yeah, I'll take my two shots at him and, and start booking it that way. Okay, cool, I'll move your token if you want to, uh, give me your two handgun shots as you're running by. Uh, a three minus two from my reflexes. That's twenty-one. Nice. That's a hit. Give me the second. Yeah, that's eleven damage. Give me your second shot, though. Uh, twenty-three. That's another twenty-one. Nice. Give me the damage. Get him. Get him. Fifteen. You can describe how you end this guy as, nice. you're, as you're running by. <laughs> uh, as I, you know, raise my pistol at him and take off running, I get one shot in the gut, and as he doubles down and I fire my other shot, it just goes right into the top of his head and just... Whoosh. Nice. Okay. Antelope. And uh, since Ace, Ace has such, uh. such little luck, we'll say a lot of that spray ended up on Ace. <laughs> Sorry, Ace. Looper, I wanted him to tell us where that base oh, was. Oh, wait, wait. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I thought I, I'm sorry. I was mentioning at the dude that was closest, like behind me, that was towards Cynthia. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's that's who I meant. I was aiming at. I'm sorry. I didn't... Oh, okay. Um, well, Is that I, all at? Yeah, I thought you were running over to this dumpster over here. Yeah, I know. And I was trying. I was like aiming behind me as I was running back that that way, like towards those those oh, dudes okay. that are between me and Cynthia. Yeah, um, well, if that's the case, then you didn't kill him. Um, that's oh, a damn it. completely new guy. Hold on, let me redo this math, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. Uh, bear with me. Uh, I just gotta redo this math. All right, I didn't specify that enough.
Yeah, because right, cool. you know, I didn't. I did not want to kill that guy either. Yeah, a couple, couple shots back, uh, land on that guy as he just looks shocked to be entering this alley of combat all of a sudden. Um, not you can tell not what they were expecting to walk into, um, but both of them are pulling out their guns. Um, it looks like uh, one has some type of submachine gun, the other one has some type of pistol. Um, as you're making your way back to that that dumpster area, and uh, uh, Ace, what are you doing? So I would like to take the guy I'm wrangling with, push him up against the wall, gun to his head. I want to say, tell us where the base is or I blow your brains out. I'm trying to intimidate him into giving us, you know, the location of that place. Um, yeah, give me your Despite... You know, having his reinforcements come in. Yeah, give me your brawling. Um, he's got a, a negative here because he is his legs fucked up. He's kind of prone. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm I'm just gonna let you know I did critical fail this roll, so super easy. Uh, you just <laughs> yeah, you literally had to beat a two. Um, Sixteen. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Chances were I wouldn't have been able to roll under a two. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Easily, you, you grab him up, kind of sliding him along the ground. He, he yells, grabs his broken leg, his blood kind of streaks the ground. You slam him up against and ask him, you know, where the fuck's your home base if you want to live with the gun up against him. Um, and he just starts kind of like yelling in Russian. Uh, you can't understand what he's saying, but uh, without a human perception, you can tell he's panicking. Uh, he's turning white. Um, you know, maybe holding on by a handful of HP points or so. Uh, he looks pasty could white. I, could I repeat? Could I repeat what he's saying to like our group chat so that after everything's done, Phoenix can translate it? Yeah, you can do that. Uh, Looper, we'll say Looper. You know, he never said he stopped recording. Um, so mm -hmm. you could, you know, the recording's probably picking up him yelling this at you. We'll say that. So we know where to go now. Yeah, that's, um, what, that's what he's saying. Well, I mean, I don't speak Russian, but I assume you just said the, the, the right place. He looks too scared to lie. Um, and yeah, and then I'll tell the rest of the team to go, I'll handle those punks, and we'll meet up at the, at the home base. And it's uh, uh, right when you're kind of saying that those two guys uh, both take uh, shots at you. Um, one basically takes a couple shots at Looper. The other one takes a couple shots at you, Ace. Oh, yeah, and you guys don't have a vade, so let me just do this real quick. Mm -hmm. um, one shot hits Looper. The other one just whizzes right past him. Um, one shot hits Ace, and the other one whizzes past him. Um, so each of you took another shot. Looper, you took uh, 11 points of damage. Man, I keep rolling 11. Uh, 12 on Ace. Um, so a couple shots. Um, and at that moment, you know, these shots go off as these guys are kind of like making their way towards you and yelling in Russian as that other guy's you know, looking terrified towards you, keeps repeating the same shit in Russian. Um, you hear some voices from up above. Um, Cynthia, Ace, and Looper each give me a perception. Um, and, and while you guys do that over to the parking lot, you hear all these gunshots going off, yelling in Russian and stuff. Uh, Ellie, you get the car open, um, and the car inside looks pretty clean and spotless. You don't see a lot, but you do see like a couple bottles of liquor and kind of the center console. Um, you can s smell um, some synth cannabis might have been going on in there at one point. Um, it's all tinted up. It's a pretty nice vehicle. Um, that's what you see just at face value popping the door open. Uh, what do you want to do? Um, I'm gonna if I'm gonna just do a quick rummage through, uh, see if they have anything that looks like it would be useful for us, any sort of evidence, anything like that. Um, yeah, if you want, give me uh, two things. Give me. Uh, a 1d10, let me know if it's under your luck. And then give me a reveal conceal, or conceal reveal. Uh, under my luck, ah shoot, my luck is four. So no. Yeah, uh, give me the and conceal then... reveal. Is that Bailey or Joe? Who's there? But... 
Bailey. That's my girly Bailey. <clears throat> um, oh, it's right at the top. Uh, 14. Okay, nice. Um, yeah, you, you just rummaging through. Nothing is catching your eye as far as being useful to finding a home base or anything about the Orlov family mm -hmm. or uh, any details about where uh, maybe Mr. Orlov runs his import-export business. Nothing in particular to the case, um, but you do find a hidden compartment, um, and it looks like it has uh, about an ounce of synth cannabis, um, some synth crip, we'll say, and then uh, it looks like uh, a bag with maybe a handful of hits of synth coke. Uh, so it looks like you found some drugs stashed. I'll take that for my uh, my addicted friends, <laughs> my <laughs> druggy friends, <laughs> and I will. Um, I'm like I'm tempted to just take this car because screw these guys. Uh, take the car. Let's take the I'm, car. I'm gonna. You know what? We you know, need I'm to feeling, take it. Do, uh, I'm feeling dangerous. I'm gonna take the car. The same electric security sort of check. Um, oh, yeah. And if, if there was a time for add. a plus two, I think I was you gonna still say. have at least one from Capricious there. And there might have been some before there. I haven't, honestly, I haven't been keeping track. Let's um, use that plus should, two. Yeah, designate someone on the team to keep track of those plus two so yeah. you guys don't lose them. Yeah. Probably a good idea. So, 14. Um, yeah, on the first pass, you're not you're not able to get it going. Um, it looks like you're, you're okay. just about to. Uh, like, maybe, maybe you're about one point away. <laughs> You know, uh, it, it kind of, but doesn't fully turn over. Just a da, 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 da. almost, almost. Uh, maybe God, if yes. someone assists you on another try, you could try it again if you wanted. But you, very close. Um, okay. Over to Phoenix. What are you doing? You're, you hear all this going down. You see Ellie hopping in the car, trying to hotwire it. You heard something about synth coke at one point. Her laughing about that. What are you doing? I got I, Nick. Hold on to that, Rook. 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 <laughs> I'm <laughs> rough to have it, and um, I don't. I don't think I can help her with uh, getting any. Let me see. I don't even think I, I have think, any skills for any called, of that. You called Looper by his uh, Discord name Rook, uh, but I did Looper. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it happening. I was like, oh, I'm gonna let that happen. Um, yeah. Sure. Um, yeah. I don't think I can help her with the car. Let me see. Uh, I can smash it. Let's see. I'm all hyped up, so I hear everything going on, anyways. She can handle the car thing. I'm gonna go run, check and hear what's going on in the hallway. Cause I got my thing out. I'm like, Hee. so what's down in the alley? So I'm gonna go run towards the corner to listen. All right, yeah, you run up uh, and back over to the alley. Um, what were those perceptions? What did uh, Cynthia, Ace and Looper have for perception? I rolled a 20. Nice. 21. Oh, an Ace. And 12 for Ace, yeah. Yeah, maybe Ace so preoccupied with this guy pinning him up against the wall and kind of interrogating about a home base and him talking in Russian and dying in his hands. Um, as that's kind of happening, he doesn't notice as much. But Cynthia and Looper, um, looking up, you hear some guys yelling uh, in Russian. And you can see it looks like there's, I don't know, maybe four or five guys leaning over the roof looking down. Um, and a couple, uh -huh. couple of them pull out uh, heavy pistols. Um, a few of them pull out what looks like assault rifles. It looks like one might even uh -huh. have a sniper rifle. Um, I'll allow you to talk to say something, but they are going to take some actions here because uh, it's happening. But uh, you can speak. You, you and Cynthia both see this happening. Ace does not. Uh, guys, we gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, gotta go. <laughs> move. <laughs> Time to move. What's the situation on that car? I'm trying my best. It's just, just give me another. A minute or so. I, 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 let me just try this again. Yeah, I'll allow that. Go for it. Try it again. I'm like, do it. Come on. Some and luck. I, some yeah. Luck. Add some luck. Yeah, let's just, you know what? We're going to dump all the luck into this. So I have four. Uh, nice. Let's let's do it. So I'll add four to this. Oh my gosh. Nah. I really don't think this what's, what's the land vehicle tech? Is that something that can help? Um. Yeah, you could you could try that. I do have uh, I do have points uh, uh, of that. Why everything's yelling? I think I can run back and try to help. Yeah, in fact, um, you know the fact you're a nomad. Um, yeah, I didn't even think like absolutely you can yes. use. Yeah, I land. thought about that after I ran that way. I'm like, I yeah, good thank you. I don't know why I didn't even. I should have. I'm digging the same coke. I don't know what's going on. I can help. 
<laughs> yeah, no, yeah. It's just all over the map right now. <laughs> we should have thought of that. Yeah, Nomad, give me the, give me your, uh, your land vehicle. And then I throw my two bucks on there. Ooh, <laughs> that's much better for me. Yeah, that, way better. That skill. Should've done, we should have done that from the start. I apologize. Yeah. I, good thing I come running this. back. I come running back. There's guns. There's guns. <laughs> I was just completely was out of it. I was like, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yeah, the car starts up, right, 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 starts revving up. All uh, right. You can tell it's a pretty strong car. It's a nice vehicle. I like wave my arm out of the window for when they come. Like, get in here. Yeah, and over to the alley, um, you know, some some gunshots are going off. Uh, Cynthia, do you have a reflexivator hire? I do not. Okay. Um, yeah, you just took a shot. Ah. Uh, yeah, you just my took, feelings. You just took two shots from a pistol. Jeez. Um, one of the guys. Ooh. Eight damage oh, and eleven okay. damage. Keep getting those eleven. So eight and eleven. Uh, don't forget to deduct your SP oh. and such. Um, looks like a, a couple shots over at uh, Looper. Uh, one's a hit. One's a miss. Again, one Ooh. whizzes past you. Another one hits you. Uh, eight damage. Uh, don't forget uh, on the previous hits, uh, belate your SP by one each time you had to take damage. Um, but yeah, there's that damage. Uh, and then it looks like a couple of the guys looking right down at Ace um, take some shots at him. It's like they see him with the guy pinned up against the wall. Hey, uh, Correct me if I'm wrong here. If I don't, if I, if it's not enough to get through my armor, I don't take any damage or ablate my armor. Correct. Correct. Okay. Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, three shots uh, get into Ace. E. Oof. Bailey. Uh, Fifteen. Oof. It's a little different when it's a, a rifle. Thirteen. Ow. Um, and then 16, and it looks like that's a critical injury. I got two sixes. Okay, wait, so that's a total of 19 that goes through my armor. So that's, uh, okay, cool. And then what's the last one? Critical injury? Yeah, um, did you write down that damage? It was... Yeah, it's all already 15. done. I've, uh... Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, there's an exclamation point next to my HP. Why? Oh, maybe because... You said 15, 15 for the last one? Yeah. And I'll get the critical right now. Uh, does the 15 count also the plus 5 for the critical? Um, yeah. Okay, cool. Not yeah, 15 looking. total on that. And then the critical injury is a 3. Um, yeah, you, you just dismembered your hand. Um, oh. I won't. Uh, I won't make it the hand that's holding your gun. I won't be that mean. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, your hand just got blown off. So you just took three bullets. Pop pop pop. One of them shattering your hand off. Oh. Ace. <laughs> oh god. And then, uh, those two guys in the alley, um, back there, they take some more shots. Uh, two of them, um, at Looper, and two at oh. Ace rough. This is real rough. Uh, one's a hit. Um, Looper, again, one whizzes past you, Looper, one hits. You're kind of a, a one for one on these shots. Uh, 13 damage on that one hit. Um, the other guy, two pops at, at, at uh, Ace. And they're not really moving forward. They came around the corner, they're kind of shocked, they're pulled out, they're just kind of standing their ground and shooting. Um, one's a hit. Uh, one's a... Is it 15? Okay, one's a miss. Wait. Is that right? Let me just check the DV again, sorry. It should be 13, right? Okay, both are a hit. Is that, sorry, that was on me? Uh, on Ace. One was a hit on you, Looper, um, which was, I think, 13 damage. Yeah. And then Ace, uh, oh, three damage on one. I rolled all ones. Oh, I've got minus two to everything. Okay. And then uh, how much damage. damage, sorry, for the first one? Uh, three damage on the first bullet, and then nine okay, damage. Okay, three doesn't second. do anything, but, okay, nine, nine does. Uh, 
All right, I'm uh, holding by a thread. And yeah, Cynthia, um, you know, I won't, won't make you roll initiative since action already happened, but you kind of entered the party towards the end of it. But now you can start off this round um, so you can kind of get into action. You see, you know, bullets flying left and right. Looper Ace taking shots. His hand gets blown off. Looper's getting hit. Ace has this dude shoved up against the wall. The hand gets blown off, and he still has the gun to his head. That guy's panicking. You hear Phoenix yelling from the parking lot of something about having a car and synth coke, and they have guns, and I don't know. It's getting crazy. What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to shoot at one of the two guys in front of me. Uh, preferably the one. Well, actually, no. I think I can only hit the guy that's in the back right now because he's, like, right in front of the other guy. Yeah, and they're not even um, going to uh, evade. They're so focused on what's ahead of them, and they're shooting and kind of fighting with them. You can just go against that, that DV. Um, so if it's your handgun, it'll be a DV-13. I can use... Uh, first, uh, first bullet misses. I think it has a rate of fire, too, so you could, you could pop off two shots. Um, yeah, next one's a hit. Give me the damage. Nice. Looks like our animation stopped me to restart that. Um, okay, cool. Uh, guys, we gotta go. Like, I don't care about the interrogation. We gotta get out of here now. It's gonna get bad. Yeah, you shoot one of the guys like, a couple shots. Everybody like, she yells Cynthia. down the alley as she shoots. Like, we gotta go. Looper. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna take my action as a, as a run and just run mm. as fast as I can to the car. Okay, which so my which way do you want to run? Uh, looking at the map there. Uh, to the right where Cynthia is is that side alley that goes down to the corner of the parking lot where that yellow car was and stuff. Um, going to the, the left side of that map goes out to that main street and then down to that side of the parking lot, that corner where those booster gangers were by that fire uh, thing. So wh which way do you want to run? Towards the two Russians or away from them? Um, away from them. I, 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 I guess I should have put it that way, huh? I don't think the boosters were... Uh... Uh, those other boosters in front were with the Orlov, so I don't think they're going to try to mess with me. So, yeah, just going to run out that way towards the car, okay. the street. Yeah, and you're, uh, you said your move was a four? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you're able to run all the way out to the end of the alley and kind of make, make your way towards the, the main street, making your way almost around the corner fully. Um, Ace, just lost your hand. This guy in front of you just keeps repeating some <laughs> shit in Russian. Yeah. Um, Bullets are raining down is, on you. <laughs> is the team is the team gone to a safer distance? Is what? Sorry. Has the team gone to a like safer distance? I know I heard Looper run away. I think I saw Cynthia like come in and out. Yeah, you see. Uh, of Looper, the alley. Yeah, Looper and Cynthia are both at the very ends of the alley. Uh, you're kind of right in the center of it. Yeah, I'm by the car again, running up and down the alley like an yeah, asshole. Yeah, and everybody else, Ellie and <laughs> Phoenix, are on the other side of the building in the parking lot. Yeah. All right. And the dudes with the rifles were? On the roof above you. There's a few, uh, like, uh, five guys up there leaning over the edge. Uh, I would love a burger right now. Um. <laughs> uh. That was terrible. Okay. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> well, over, <laughs> over the... Uh, over our comms, um, Ace will just say, huh, I never wanted to live forever anyway. And uh, he's going to start shooting at the guys in the alley. Try to buy as much time for the team to get away without the... the he wants to make sure that the rifles remain trained on him. So that, you know, because they're probably the ones that are the biggest threat to the team because of their vantage point. So, oh, yeah. yeah, and I think uh, not even a deduction, you know, you being a lawman, you know, coming from that history, uh, you're right. You can tell that a majority of them kind of took shots at you because you were the one with pinning the guy up against the wall. Um, you know, it does seem like uh, they're, they're shooting at everyone involved, but they're absolutely looking to get whoever's fucking with their boys, you know. Um, mm -hmm. So that's a smart move uh, if that's what you're trying to do for the team. 
Uh, but give me, bo yeah. give me both those shots. Uh, one at each one of those guys. Uh, yeah, and just just for kicks, um, I'll aim for the head for both. Like it's probably not gonna work, but I'm gonna try. Okay. Are there any more plus twos? I'm not sure. I haven't I been tracking. Do that. I don't. Probably. I think we've used five. There should be so. about two more left. I used two. Used two. one. One. Uh, yeah, I don't think there is one. I left. used one. No, no, that's fine. All right, regular. Let, let's uh, try. Let's try. Yeah, go for it. Two shots. Nah, five and eight. <laughs> uh, Shit. Yeah, they whiz right past those guys, um, but uh, those guys kind of, you know yell at you and, and take a step forward. The guys on the roof yell out some other shit and rush in um, without even doing a perception. You can tell that, it, yeah, you didn't hit them with bullets, but it does seem to achieve what you were trying to do where all attention is on you right now from these guys uh, for whatever that's worth, good or bad. <laughs> uh, but back over to the, the parking lot. Uh, Ellie, you're in this car. It's running uh, Phoenix. You're standing out there. Uh, what are you two doing? You hear yelling and gunshots going off. Um, at that point, I'll get in the car and say, go get Rooper. Rooper, Rooper. I'm getting everybody's name wrong today. And, okay. and yeah, all of, you were, all of you were on the comms and agents, so you were able to hear, you know, everybody talking to each other about what's been going on. Cynthia saying we need to get out of here, you know, guys on the roof, all that sort of shit. Looper taking off, so, sure. Yep. Yeah, once she gets in the car, I'll drive up and get closer to Looper and Cynthia and grab them. Is it a four-door or two-door? What kind of car is it? Um, it's a four-door. Uh, okay, I, I, get, I had to jump in, the, I guess, the passenger seat. Yeah, okay. yeah you jump in, and uh, um, as you're pulling out and kind of going onto that side, you see Looper running around the corner from the alleyway. And as you're going, uh, Phoenix, uh, you notice on that side of the car, those three booster gangers, that girl and two guys posted up by that fire that I'll talk to each other. They, like, look up, and they start, like, laughing and pointing and, like, nudging each other. Um, like laughing uh, at you guys stealing those Russians' car. But, no uh, pictures, please. No pictures. <laughs> but Cynthia, back over to you. Um. Oh. I'm gonna take a kind of like half step back and keep shooting. I'm gonna take another shot at this one here. What are you doing? Get out of there! Where am I gonna go run to the parking lot where there's no car? Like, <laughs> fight time. Are you towards us? <laughs> Drive through the parking. Drive through the alley. <laughs> through the alley and hit them. I mean, I can take a shot and run. Yeah, take a shot. Yeah, you can. You can, sh you know, do a move action and and an action. You can shoot and run or break it up in between yeah. running. Whatever you want. Yeah. But give me those two shots over. if that's what you want to do. Yeah. Boom. just a 13 because uh, they're not dodging they're all focused on ace right now those guys um yeah both are a hit uh was it uh, one to each guy or both to one guy what do you want to do i want each guy okay give me both damages yeah. so first one was a 13 and then the second one would be a 10. nice nice those are good damages yeah a cu couple thuds to the back of uh, those guys like turn around and take notice to you, Cynthia, just as you kind of uh, beeline it down the alley towards the parking lot. Um, and you can't use a run action, obviously, because run takes both actions to, to do that, but you at least are able to do your move stat and get down the alley. Uh, but those guys are noticing you now. Um, I'll just move your token over here as if you're running down the alley. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, what is a uh, uh, looper? Go back over to you, and then I'll take it to the guys on the roof after Ace. Um, I'm gonna. Um, it's not an action to get in a car, is it? Just a. Oh yeah, it is an action to get um, in a car. It is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, then I'll but just. They're pulling. Uh, they're pulling towards you. We'll say you know by the time it gets to your turn, they're kind of coming up towards the alley. Okay. Then yeah, I'll just quickly run and just hop into the car and be like, "Dude, we gotta get Ace. Like he is getting shot at. Like get down that alley." 
Yeah, Looper hops in the car saying all that as Ellie screeches out from the parking lot down the side street. Uh, Ace, yep. over to you. Um, not going to try headshots anymore. Um, but there is something that I can try to do. Um, they all seem to be rather stuck together in this alley, right? Um, and I happen to have an ability called Call Backup, which means I could get... I probably will be dead by then, but I can get a bunch of violent people over here to either arrest... Well, they're not really cops, but to, you know, avenge me. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, because there's there's no point in me trying to... Uh, um, trying to kill any one of them. I, I don't think I'm in a position to do that. Uh, so I'm going to call backup. Roll must be less than or equal to your backup score. Hey! It works! Nice. And, and they're going to arrive in... Yeah, it's uh, page 158. But I think it's they arrive in like two turns or something like that because it's a D10 turns. Okay. Nice. Yeah. You uh, you call for backup and like we described before, since you're kind of ex lawmen, these these are also ex lawmen, maybe part of an old biker gang you, you grew up with or knew. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, they answered like, "Oh shit, you're in trouble." Is that serious? Like we're on our way. We're not far from there at all. Um, and you they hang up. Uh, and yeah, they'll be here in just a couple turns. It seems like. Um, um, we'll have yeah, I have this. I have the book here, uh, and it is uh, backup ranks, blah, blah, blah. That's pretty cool. Um, and two is the turns? Yeah, it's it? it's rounds. Okay. So it's a, it's an amount of rounds, so it's two rounds. Okay, cool. Not that bad. Yeah, no. All right, cool. Yeah, you're able to do that um, just as uh, the guys on the roof take more shots. Um, a couple of them uh, take shots at... Cynthia as she's running down the alley as they as she took shots at some of their guys. One is a hit, one's a miss. Eleven damage. I, I keep getting elevens. Nine damage. Oh wait, no, that was a 13. I would go to defender. Never mind, oh, oh, only the first damage, not the second one, sorry. Because um, I would go to defender. Yeah. Even on a DD. Um, yeah, and then the guys on the roof, uh, again, just raining down bullets on Ace. Um, I know Ace has taken a lot of damage. Um, so this could be bad. Yeah. Uh, three of those shots hit. Oh. oh man, I don't, I don't know how uh, this is going. Um, that's 15 damage plus 5 because I hit a critical and that's just on the first one. So um, that's a 20, 20 minus 5, that's 15. I am down. Uh, and the critical is... Uh, I rolled a 3 again, so it looks like a dismembered hand again. Your other hand just got shot off as you drop your gun. So now you no weapon, no hands. Um, and where did that put your damage? Are you on at death minus saves? one? Oh yeah, okay. I'm I'm uh, I'm in death saves, I believe. Uh, at the end of each of my turns, yeah. Okay. Well. Um, oh, and I'm also unconscious for one minute. So yeah, I, I fell down. And there's the problem of the other damages uh, because those mm -hmm. other shots hit. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't even need to add it up. I'm going to give Ace this moment to s maybe last words into the agent uh, to his teammates as these bullets are just raining down on him. As he took, you know, the attention of this attack so his team could get away from being pretty outnumbered. Um, but, um, yeah. Go for it. Yeah, I think his last words would be, get the fuck out and make them pay and find that little girl. Yeah. 
Yeah. Bullets just rain down. Uh, he lost both hands as he's just peppered with bullets as he falls unconscious and is just bleeding out from too many holes. Uh, two other Russian guys kind of walk up, a couple shots to the back of his head of his dead body. Um, and then, you know, the group on the roof are kind of scurrying, looking over the other edges of the roof as these two guys are kind of trying to make their way out towards the main street, following in the direction that Looper ran. Um, but back over to uh, uh, Looper, Ellie, and Phoenix in the car. You hear all that go down. We just start screaming like, Ace! No, Ace! Like, like freaking out, like, Where's Cynthia? Like, we have to... Fuck! Ellie kind of panicking and like, I, I feel like she's kind of shaking as her hands are on the wheel, like in, in this moment of like, sheer panic when she hears that from her teammate. I'm screaming for Cynthia. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, I'm gonna try to head towards Cynthia and see if I can find her and grab her. Yeah, give me, um, you could do a driving, give me uh, your driving skill. Okay, let's uh, see. This is kind of to do a bootleg turn. Driving, driving. You know, kind of, you know, spin it around and just peel back into the parking lot to hopefully grab Cynthia before the, the rooftop uh, Russians start raining down bullets. Yes. Yeah, um, this would be yeah, there we go. Uh, 17. 22. Nice. nice. Yeah, you easily spin around back into the parking lot. Cynthia, as you come out the alleyway into the parking lot, you basically see uh, Phoenix hanging out the car yelling, like, get it, get it, and screaming. You hear Looper yelling uh, for Ace as Ellie just tearing the car in, wheels screeching. Uh, the booster gang are still laughing and pointing and just yelling and just cracking up over it um, as the car peels to the side uh, and Looper... Uh, pushes the side door open for you to get in. She is like she looks stunned for a moment because she's standing at the end of the alley. So I'm guessing she saw the shots go off. So she just kind of stands there, stunned. Like she looks over and sees the door open, and just can't really move for a second. And then it kind of snaps back to reality for her, and she runs over to the car and hops in. Yeah, you hop in. Uh, give me an athletics check. I hope I have athletics. Do have athletics. Nice. Yeah, you hop in. Uh, nothing extremely cool or crazy, but you you at least get into the car. I wasn't going to make it difficult, but I just wanted to see if there's a crit fail and maybe the rooftop gets a couple more bullets off at you. But uh, you slide into the car. Uh, it was already open as Ellie peels off down the road and you hear more bullets hitting the back of the car and whizzing past as you drive off into the night. And this is where we're going to end our session. Uh, rest in peace, Ace. Uh, I, I know everybody watching might, might have been a bit of a shock. We, we are losing Wandering DM as a player on this team. Um, so Ace was in a position to kind of role play the hero role and, and make it happen so the team could get away. Unfortunately, he died in the process. Um, but, you know, maybe it's motivation for the rest of the team. Now it's not just you know, cracking the case for Veritas, but it's avenging Ace as well, you know? Wow. I'm sad. Yeah. I'm, I'm big sad yeah, right, I now. Lost I the words right now. Yeah. <laughs> like, I knew it was kind of, I knew it was coming, but at the same time, it didn't. Yeah. Really like, I kind of was hoping there was going to be a way out of it. Like, okay, maybe yeah. we can distract him and he can run away and, like, we'll we can pull him under the car. Like, yeah. And then he just. Out. Our deadliest but, session we've ever had. It was bad. Yeah. 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 At the same time, Ace was on a like a uh, a, a fast. He was on the fast lane to self destruction with his, you know, almost Im uh, empty. <laughs> wow, is almost non-existent, non-existent humanity. Um, like he would have, he would have eventually been. The cause of his own unmaking. That's oh, definitely going to hit well, Looper like, pretty hard. Yeah, I like yeah. Oh, yeah. at least the fact that, you know, when shit got that chaotic and all of a sudden there's like back up on the roof and it was becoming a deadly situation, he was able to at least kind of sacrifice himself in that hero mode so the team could get away. 
Yeah, yeah. he could have he could have been a dick and just leave everyone <laughs> in yeah. shit. <laughs> or, or, or everyone fighting it out to leave collectively or whatever, which, you know, mm-hmm. you were outnumbered, outgunned. Yeah. Um, it could have been really ugly for everyone, but he kind of put himself on the chopping block so everyone else could get yeah. away with minor damages. So that was that was honorable. I thought that was cool. Um, but I know you got to well, go. Mean, um, yeah. Serve and protect and all that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah playing into the role. But I know you got to go. Mm-hmm. So we'll just be quick. Let's go yeah. around the table, uh, do our little outros, let people know where they can find you online. And then everybody in chat, I'm just going to. You know, sign it off, and uh, uh, we'll see you next month. We are going to be getting a new player. We do have a seat open now. Uh, Wandering DM has schedule uh, things that came up in real life. That's why we had to kill off his character. We didn't just do it for fun. Um, but, no, uh, and by the way, before anyone says anything, I think I even suggested killing Ace off. Like, it's not... Exactly, yeah, yeah. It's not something <laughs> that was done without my knowledge. Yeah, exactly. It was, you know, slightly at least planned in a bit for those options to be there and then see what how it plays out. But uh, but yeah, sorry to see you go, but I understand real life stuff. And at least we're able to have some closure to the character and to, you know, to make it part of the story to where, you know, it can continue on for the team and it all kind of makes sense. Um, and it was very cinematic. It was a great uh, death and honorable thing. Like I said, I could totally picture it. It was pretty crazy. And then Ellie, you know, with the bootleg turn, all that stuff, it was, I don't know, just a really epic uh, session. It was really cool. I could picture that ending, and it, it was yep. it was pretty intense, uh, to say the least. Yeah. Uh, but I'm yeah. Rob Mulligan, the founder of Cyberpunk Uncensored. Everybody follow, subscribe, both here on Twitch and on YouTube. Lots of gameplay. Check out the calendar on our Discord and join us. Uh, we stream almost every day, different GMs and things. Uh, we would love you to uh, tune in every time. Uh, but Val. Big Val, find me on Cyber underscore Valerie. Aha. And it was a pleasure playing tonight. It was great playing with Wandering DM. We'll miss you. Oh, yeah. Will. Uh, yeah, Looper. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Billy Huddles uh, or, you know, hit me up on Discord for anything. I'm on as Rook. Um, and, yeah, again, Simon, absolutely been wonderful to play with you. Hopefully nice. I'll get to play with you again sometime in the future. It's been fantastic. Oh, yeah. Nail me. My name is Naomi. I play Cynthia the Exec. Um, you can find me usually under the handle of my last Mickey. I'm on a lot of video games. Um, don't do a lot of streaming, though, but if you want to friend me on, like, Xbox, by all means, go right ahead. Simon, I'm going to miss you, man. I'm going to miss Ace right. and Cynthia's goof-off times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Tracy. Hi, everyone. I'm Tracy. Um, you can find me on the internet as Miss Magitech on all of the socials, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, TikTok, all of them. Uh, and yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to playing again next month. Um, and yes, similar sentiments to Simon. Um, I, we will miss you. Uh, this is not my first time playing with Simon in in cyberpunk. He was once my GM. Uh, so I'm sure this will not be the last time that we play together. So I, I look forward to the next time that we play together. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. This this won't be the last time. I'm sure we'll have more games in the future where all of us get to play and GM and have fun again together with, with Simon involved. So, um, Simon for your last time, uh, tell everyone about you. Uh, well, first of all, thanks everyone. Uh, the game was fun. The group was fun. Uh, the, the concept of a, a neocorp, uh, a a journalistic neocorp was pretty, uh, a pretty fun concept to work on. Uh, Thanks, Rob, for allowing me to finally play Cyberpunk. <laughs> um, because this is the only game where I've been a player. Um, aside from a one-shot, that was also you anyway. So you are responsible for 100% of the Cyberpunk game nice. games I was a player in. Um, but yeah, uh, unfortunately, like like uh, I said, scheduling conflict, I have like so many things coming up that I have to like clear out pieces of of my schedule you've probably seen on my twitter anyway i've been canceling left and right a bunch of stuff uh but what i am not canceling if you want to see a bit more of me is this sunday uh pretty much all afternoon we're doing a horror twofer so we're playing a bunch of horror games uh to raise money for races so if you don't know what to do on halloween weekend uh come on my channel twitch.tv slash wondering dm uh and uh come come watch the the games we're going to play Awesome. Otherwise, thank you, everyone. Um, I had a blast playing with all of you. Hell yeah. Yeah, thanks so much. Once again, we'll play again soon. Thanks, everybody, in chat for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.
Take care. Bye. <laughs>